This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review and this is the LG Xenon for AT&T. The Xenon is a lot like the View by LG, also an AT&T, but it adds a keyboard. It's a full QWERTY keyboard with four rows. It's got an embedded number pad. You'll use the function key to enter numbers here. And the landscape display, you can see right here, when you open it up, it automatically switches, though it doesn't switch the wallpaper on the home screen. Software, again, is pretty similar to the view. You tap here and you can see a palette of all the applications on the phone and their tabs. So you've got the phone-centric and communication-centric items here. Dialing, address book, IM. It's got the standard AT&T IM client on it. And multimedia with CV, MediaNet, which is the web browser, AT&T Music, games if you have any installed and then the my stuff is just tools to manage the phone your pictures your music any locally stored videos and PIM stuff like your calendar and your calculator and all that in terms of PIMS this doesn't hold a whole lot of contacts it only holds 500 contacts and again just settings where you can control the display brightness the uh, the lock timeout it's got an automatic screen lock on it you can see this right here is how you unlock the screen after it automatically locks, or you can lock it at any time you want to just by pressing that button. And then nothing is going to accidentally dial in your pocket or anything like that. You just press it again to unlock. This is easier to use than the Samsung impressions. So we kind of like using that. So we've got GPS here, AT&T Navigator. That's a $9.99 a month service. It works with the built-in GPS, gives you turn-by-turn -turn directions, POIs, maps, all the navigation goodies. The LG Xenon has a pretty good GPS. It gets a fix even indoors quickly and accurately. We'll take a look at where we are on the map. And if you open the keyboard, it does not switch to landscape mode. As you can see, just like the Samsung Impression, this operates in portrait mode only. However, you can use the keyboard to enter in information if you want to enter in an address and all that kind of thing. The phone supports multitasking. We'll get a couple of applications running simultaneously, so you can see that. We'll have the address book open here. And while we're at it, you can see you can scroll through. It, it works more smoothly than the view did. It's easier to control. And it's got haptic feedback, so it vibrates like crazy, actually, when you're doing this. You might even be able to hear the buzzing going on there. So now you press the multitasking button and you go back home. Start up another application. Like Let's start up the web. And we'll go to the Media Net homepage. So you can see here in the task menu now we you can switch between your applications. This phone has 3G HSDPA, as do most AT&T phones. And the web browser works in portrait and in landscape mode. Slide open the keyboard and you can switch it. The phone does have an accelerometer and that works in certain applications only, like in the video player and in a picture viewer and in the web browser. So the screen is not too cluttered up with navigation widgets for the web browser. We like that, so you get to use most of it. To bring up the controls, double tap on the screen, not over a link or something like that, so you don't accidentally load a different page. Double tap, and then you can use zoom here. There's no auto-zooming. I add to favorites, refresh the page, go back. <laughs> Goes away really quickly, a little annoying there. And then that button up here brings up a variety of settings. You can have multiple windows open. You can manage your bookmarks. It's got little scroll bars over here. So you can see more. You can go to settings and all that kind of stuff. It's not as easy to use in terms of controlling, obviously, the, the settings and and all that as the uh, browser on the Samsung Impression or the Samsung Eternity, but it's a great improvement over the view and it has much more natural finger scrolling. Got a 2 megapixel fixed focus lens camera here on the back. 
and we've got a micro SD card slot here. It supports high capacity cards. Unlike the Samsung Impression, there's no need to remove the cover. Here we have volume controls, and here is the LG micro USB style connector for headphones. Headphones are not included though, and for charging as well. Let's take a look at it compared to the impression. Now this sells for $99 with a two-year contract after rebates, assuming that you have a text messaging plan, then you get a $50 rebate, otherwise it's going to cost you $149. This guy sells for $199 after rebates, so a bit more money, but you get a much bigger organic LED display. That's a lot brighter. It's a bigger device overall. It's a bigger screen. This is 2.8 inches. This is 3.2 inches. It's built a little more sturdily. This looks a little bit more plasticky. But then again, it's small, it's light, and it fits in the pocket really easily. And the Samsung has a 3 megapixel fixed focus lens camera on the back. Let's take a look at CV which is cellular video. Though this doesn't have the best 3G reception, usually we get nearly full bars here. We have about half bars. We still get really good video playback in general on this, and it uses the full screen for playback. Speakers are nice and loud. This isn't even max volume. Let's take a quick look at the home screen, which has a few neat features, besides the shortcuts here to dialing. There's your dialer. Contacts. Sending a message. And just bringing up all programs. You've got these three up here. You have three virtual desktops. This is the main home screen right now. This one here, you can put your caller ID favorites up here. And then Drag them around wherever you want for one touch dialing. And then this is a quick set of shortcuts to pop commonly used applications. And you can customize this as well. And now you've got this additional set of shortcuts. It's sort of like widgets on uh, Samsung phones. So you've got a palette of a couple of different widgets over here. And any of the ones you want to use, you just drag them out into the desktop, for example. Drag the little music note out here. And then you have control of the music player. You can put it back if you want. And you've got multi time zone clock, calendar, and so on. It's kind of fun and somewhat useful. So over here, you can look at pictures that you've taken or that you have on your card. And that's the LG Xenon Touchscreen QWERTY Messaging Phone for AT&T. Visit Mobile Tech Review to read the full review.